Hey, what's up? It's Tuesday. I'm Jim here for The Rough Cuts, and today I am doing the film Prince of Darkness. I'm continuing my series of reviews where I review every John Carpenter movie, and this is the 1987 film directed by John Carpenter. It's the second in what Carpenter calls his Apocalypse Trilogy, the first being The Thing, and the third being In the Mouth of Madness. They've discovered that there is a secret kind of tomb type thing in the secret part of the Roman Catholic Church and this priest played by Donald Pleasance brings in this scientist played by uh, Victor Wong. He brings his best students to come and investigate what's going on in this church and basically the evil comes out and starts taking over people's bodies and attacking them. It's very thing-like. He somehow combined the thing and Assault on Precinct 13. Even though this film has an amazing score, I will probably listen to the score like if I could download it I would. I'll probably listen to it on YouTube if I can find isolated tracks. In fact this is a score that is way too good for this movie because this movie is, uh, is not very good. Although I like the opening and I like a lot of the stuff at the beginning, how it's building tension. When you eventually find out about the evil and the Prince of Darkness, when things aren't properly explained, it seems creepy and bizarre and kind of like surreal. But when things do get more explained, it gets kind of dull. The characters, I like how he did it. It's very Hawksian. Uh, he loves Howard Hawks. A lot of stuff about like theoretical physics and like atomic energy and all this stuff. And uh, it's almost like too smart for its own good. I think one of the joys of early Carpenter with like Assault on Precinct 13 or Halloween in particular, they're a real simple idea that he directs like so intelligently and magnificently. And it's like, it's like the idea is almost easy for him. You know, and I think he challenged himself a little too much. It has a lot of kind of surrealistic imagery and the whole like transmission thing through your mind uh, from the past while you're sleeping. That I thought was really cool. I really like that. I'm never probably gonna forget that. And some of the imagery in this film, I'll probably never forget. It's really striking. It's really interesting. This is actually uh, Carpenter's first film with a cinematographer he would work with a lot, Gary B. Kibbe. This film isn't very well written, and even though it's written by Carpenter under the pseudonym Martin Quartermass, maybe that's why he didn't take credit for it, because I, I really don't like it. Because it's just like, like so much of something he's done before at this point in his career and it just feels kind of lazy in places he seems like such an amazing intelligent genre director and this feels like he's like fallen into the genre of himself in the worst way oh alice cooper plays like the leader of these goons that the Prince of Darkness is controlling or something, but doesn't do that much with. I, I really liked Alice Cooper's look, and there's kind of almost a silent film vibe about all those guys, and especially Alice Cooper's character, who kind of worked pretty well. He's a little bit memorable. It's certainly a cool movie, and it has cool ideas, and the soundtrack and the mood of it was so good, it kind of gave me the heebie-jeebies afterwards, and I kind of want to watch a comedy just to lighten the mood. And that certainly works for it, but the ultimate movie is just not that great. Like, I didn't feel really any connection to any of these characters, which is odd because Carpenter seems so good at working with an ensemble cast. It's kind of like a weird, cultish kind of movie, but just not ultimately a very good one. This is on Netflix streaming, so that's how I saw it. So if you um, can do instant Netflix, you can see Prince of Darkness, although I can't imagine why you would. So if you have seen Prince of Darkness and you would like to talk about it, then comment below in the comments. Subscribe to The Rough Cuts if you haven't already. Subscribe to my main channel, which is in the info box below. Follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and potentially VHX. And uh, follow Earl Barrett Holloway's Tumblr. He does the picture at the beginning and the end of this video.